Kevin McHale recently said that no, Michael Jordan wasn't going to beat the Celtics. Now with that front court, even if he had been in his apex, and he said no, the team was going to beat him. I like that to hear McHale say that. I applaud Kevin McHale. You know, he was a six man, became a star, became one of the 50 greatest players ever, one of the greatest players ever. Was a decent executive, decent head coach, great player. Guy had an octopus arm, one of the most underrated power forwards ever. And I'm going to tell you something, there were guys who were better than him skill set wise, but most guys could not utilize their arms. That guy was an octopus. He did things with his arms to this day. I still haven't seen another power forward do. A lot of guys were more bulky or strong. But he could just use his arms and just just do so many different things. He was so creative. But I like how he stood up for those Celtic teams in the 80s. I feel that way. I've said it before. I don't care about how people say Boston and L.A. or Philly. Well, they weren't that much. They were big, great teams. They would have beaten anything that I've seen from the 90s onward. They would have beaten them. They were better fundamentally, inside out, more versatile than they give credit for and I have no problem with Mikhail saying that his Celtics of the 80s were, would have beaten Onwardly. I believe that. I believe that. I was not impressed by the Bulls run in the 90s. I thought Michael Jordan was an incredible player, one of the greatest ever. Sky Pippen, great sidekick, Rodman, incredible. But they even admitted they sales that 84 to 93 was the apex of basketball as far as before it got watered down because with expansion, everything got watered down. And now even more so. So you got a lot of tricked out teams who ain't that good. So it made teams look a lot better than what they were. But when you saw those teams back then, they were stacked top to bottom and they balanced each other out. That's why they were champions and so dominant. And Kevin McHale doesn't get his due. One of the most underrated players ever. That octopus was was a handful. I'm telling you. Yeah, you can sit here and debate. You know, Carmelo better, Duncan, Barkley, all those guys. But Charles Barkley said that was the toughest player he ever went against because that octopus had hands. He could he could swarm and whirl and worm and just get you, and he could get baskets. I mean, he could keep a tap going. He kept a tap going like you leaving a drip under your sink in the wintertime so your pipes don't freeze. That's how Mikhail could back could tap. Underappreciated. So I give you that. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for nothing. Share if you like. I'm up. Peace.